Uber, Bitcoin, self-driving cars. Combine those three together, and you have the self-owning taxi. A car that is a corporation that owns itself, pays for the car lease, the car insurance, and the gasoline from the revenues it makes, giving passengers a ride, and there's not a single human involved in that matter. So that we, we, you know, the world is going to be short power, short power, and to power these these data companies, you cannot have just this intermittent power like wind and solar. You need dispatchable power because you can't turn off and on these data centers. And so it's a company we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly. We're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it will be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American, you know. Uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETF are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. The Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Bassick. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told his members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system has kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy, and, and uh, 
uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep especially in the times that we're in right now. And 2024 is going to be one of our most entertaining years. We have the presidential election. We have the drums of beating. We have the emerging markets going to be flipping the switch on the fourth industrial revolution. Now, we had the Fed signal rate cuts, but remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. And we know the massive magicians are about to set up that distraction so they can cut rates while we still have inflation. And in the fourth quarter, once the election is over, the movie begins. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, guys, we have Bitcoin and crypto pulling back. We know we have futures tomorrow. So those traders, guys, you know, do not be scared of this dip. We know on the weekend we're the only game in town and they need Bitcoin as collateral. So we're going to start seeing open interest move up. It's like clockwork. Are we going to get a big pump? No, we're not. Guys, we know September is not a great month, but we're definitely going to be moving up. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. And while you're making that money, make sure you're hitting the crypto teacher's cash app. You know it's his birthday on the 7th. The smartest people are born on the 7th. Don't hate me. Now, guys, make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which are down. We have the dollar down, and we know that should be good for markets. But as we see, the Dow is down big, S&P down, and right now the NASDAQ is flat. And we know stocks are going to take a beating. We know 401ks are going to be taking a beating. And in the Patreon premium account, I'm going to be doing a video, so therefore you can get defensive. I've done it before. If you're a part of the Patreon premium account, you can go to the old video that I've done. I told you that this was going to happen. We're definitely going to be having a pullback. But just like when stocks move up, they don't go straight up. Same way when they come down, they don't go straight down. We're going to have pumps and dumps, but the market is going to be pulling back. Why? Because they need to pull this money out. So therefore, they can build this fourth industrial revolution. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, we have volume and crypto down. We have Tether and USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at $337 billion. And, guys, make sure you're pulling that on a daily basis during the week. But we know the Fed is going to be cutting rates in two weeks, and we get the jobs report tomorrow. And we're going to see how the media tries to spin it. But we have yield rates dropping, and the Fed has not done nothing all year. It's just the bond market adjusting. And we know it's all coming from manipulation. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, we have Siemens issues a $330 million digital bond on private blockchain with major German banks, including Deutsche Bank. And we know with these big banks and central banks, they're going to be on a private blockchain. You're not going to see any of the activity that they're doing because we know the banks are the biggest what? I'll let you finish that. But everything is going to be tokenized and put on blockchain. 
And the end game is a metaverse where nothing is real, taking this real world and putting it in the virtual world. And then we have Trump and Harris. We have the drums are beating. We have a lot going on in the month of September, and we know it's just going to keep getting better. And all these distractions are for the fourth industrial revolution, where the robots, algorithms, and drones take the economy over, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And if you don't believe me, go watch the Patreon video that I did today. I show you the technology is here. Not only is here, it's ready to go. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have the Bitcoin, Ethereum, Spot ETFs, BlackRock, Fidelity, and Grayscale. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Spot ETFs right now down. But getting over into a little crypto news. We have Trump extends lead over Harris and Poly Market. And in the days of America to Babylon, you can bet on anything. Guys, the casino is definitely here. Now we have Blockstream launches third series of security token providing Bitcoin mining exposure. And I used to do plenty of videos on Blockstream when Samsung was running it. Blockstream is very important to the Bitcoin ecosystem. Now we have Skyscanner integrates with Traveler enabling hotel bookings and over 100 cryptocurrencies. And guys, we know that's all about adoption. Only thing they have to do is make it seamless where people don't even know that they're using crypto. And we know we're almost there. Now we have Mercurio launches Spin, a virtual MasterCard that lets users with crypto at over 100 million merchants. And again, it's all about adoption. And we know the emerging markets in South America are definitely pushing crypto. And then lastly, guys, we have Ripple requests a stay on the $125 million judgment with the SEC. And as we see the SEC movie with Ripple coming to an end, we'll get the new administration. And then, of course, regulation and legislation will come in for Bitcoin and crypto inside the United States. And we know this technology is already ready. So that allow these central banks to flip the switch on the new digital economy while the legacy market is still running, but crumbling down. And everywhere you see the legacy market crumbling, when it comes to finance, any sector, you're going to see these digital assets, AI robots replace it. They're just knocking down one system and bringing in the other at the same time so the sheep will never notice. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the New World Order book plus the three kids books is time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver of the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see the fourth industrial revolution, 
foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.